The Sons and Daughters Podcast. Discover and walk in the life that Jesus lives inside of you. Hosted by Andy and Tina Hayner, leaders of Full Speed Impact Ministry. Hi, welcome to the Sons and Daughters Podcast. I'm Tina Hayner, and this is my husband, Andy Hayner, my diligent, disciplined husband, Andy Hayner. Hey, brothers and sisters, uh, it is so good to be with you and to be alongside my lovely wife, who is always disciplined and diligent about telling you all the things that she uh, is hoping Appreciate. to see more and more in in me. Uh, I hope that you are surrounded by people <laughs> who call out the best that they see in you, because uh, the Sons and Daughters podcast is about helping mm -hmm. you to see that Jesus really does live in you if you believe in him and that mm -hmm. God has made you really a son, really a daughter. He's put the spirit of the son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. And he is excited about fathering you for all eternity. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that means that he is going to give you his best and pour, transform your life by pouring his wisdom, his life and mercy and love into you mm -hmm. um, because children are impacted by the love of their mm, father, father. Yeah. or the lack of it. And mm. uh, thankfully in God, there is no lack. That right. is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So and speaking of, us, so. <laughs> yeah, speaking of no lack today, uh, we have got uh, <laughs> a, a brother in the Lord that we're really excited uh, that, to have observed some of the things that God's done in his life. Yeah, he's, good changes. He's had <clears throat> me uh, come and minister at his church uh, a number of times, and uh, and we uh, we lived uh, fairly close, mm -hmm. about fifty miles from one another, and. Uh, not close enough to see each other every day, but close enough to stay in touch. Yeah. And we've continued to stay in touch. And it's just been neat to see um, the journey that God has uh, taken our friend, Pastor uh, Clark on, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, Clark Peterson. Yeah. He's a pastor of, of Assemblies of God Church in Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, I believe it's called New Life Assembly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they uh, they really have... Um, just been a light for Christ in, in, that, community. in that community. Yeah, and uh, Pastor Clark has uh, been a good uh, pastor for a lot of our friends, mm -hmm. and uh, we've gotten to know him. And it's been neat to see the journey that God has taken him on in his health. And I know, yeah, if you've been around us a while, you've also seen my weight yeah. fluctuate mm -hmm. up and down, and mostly, uh, Andy's mostly been up, on a journey <laughs> lately down. Yeah. 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 And, um, God's done some good things in our, uh, health. And if you, uh, you know, I think it's something that everybody thinks about mm -hmm. is, yeah. uh, especially yeah. as you get older, uh, if mm -hmm. you have any challenges with health, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Um, yeah. And it, you know, it just everything and we're whole beings. So everything impacts everything, our, yeah. our physical health, our mental health, our spiritual health. Yeah. And, so it's yeah. worth addressing all of it and well, committing all of it to the Lord and Jesus. health is one of those things, to be honest with you, if you don't address it, it's going to address you. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. It, it, uh, it, you don't, just because you say, well, I'm not worried about it, doesn't mean uh, that's going to be a good mm -hmm. plan for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and right. uh, so it's one of those things where it makes sense to consider um, how to be a good steward of right. our body. And um, I think it's something that everybody, um, you know, has had challenges with at one point or time. And so it's really neat to mm -hmm. hear uh, Pastor Clark and to have him come on uh, to share his story and some of the huh. lessons some that he's learned. Mm -hmm. It will be a time of encouragement. So if this mm -hmm. is a sore spot for you, hey, uh, I encourage you to listen on through. You're not going to get a guilt trip. Uh, no, this mm -hmm. is not about <laughs> being a guilt trip, but actually um, he's very real mm -hmm. with uh, where yeah. he was at and uh, some of the things that's made a difference yeah. for him. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and bring Pastor Clark on. Well, Pastor Clark, thanks so much for joining us today. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. It's mm -hmm. exciting. Um, yeah. I, I'm thankful for the opportunity, actually. So, <laughs> Yeah, got yeah. some good things to share. Yeah, well, one of the things I've really appreciated as we've uh, known you for some years mm -hmm. um, is it's neat to um, have observed, at least from... Uh, a friendly distance, some of your uh, journey, especially in the area related to health. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. uh, I would love it if you would just share a little bit about, you know, that journey for 
you and just so that people who haven't had the benefit of seeing you seeing, seeing, you, sh- seeing yeah. you shrink and become <laughs> a healthy uh healthier now than when i met you probably yes. seven eight years yes, ago yeah yeah um, i'd love love for you just to share some of that journey sure uh well i've been uh pastoring in reedsburg wisconsin since 19 my wife and i moved here in uh december i mean it's just like in 1990, right this month, and we moved here in a snowstorm. Uh-huh. Uh, so I've been here since uh, 1990, and and uh, I've uh, when I graduated from high school, I weighed 138 pounds, if you can believe it. Oh, and I was okay. a middle li- and I was a linebacker in football. So uh, mm-hmm. yes, it was a small team, but anyway, <laughs> uh, they said uh, they said pound for pound, I was the toughest guy on the team. So uh, that's what the coaches said. But anyway, when I graduated from college, my first time, I weighed at 165, and by the t- and and uh, Sue was always health minded. My wife was always mm-hmm. health minded, and she was always getting me to do trying to be healthy. And I was always thinking that it wasn't very spiritual, you know. Um, <laughs> u- using scripture, you know, First Timothy, I wrote First uh, Timothy uh, chapter three, where it says, you know, that um, uh, bodily health and bodily exercise and is is good for this earth, but you know, godliness is good for this for, earth and, right. and, and this life and the next. And uh, so I, I used that a lot. She'd say to me, and I just say, "Here's the scripture, babe, right here. See the scripture." And uh, mm-hmm. so, and then the other that Tim that Paul uses for Timothy, all all uh, food is sanctified by prayer and uh, thanksgiving. So anyway, I, I just so justified say, myself. So you yeah, say, uh, I, "God, God bless these Doritos and pizza." That's right. and- <laughs> uh, I'm sure they're gonna, you know, basically God's saying the calories fall off or something. I don't know, but. Um, but what I what I, what happened and, and Andy you're, you're you're more a part of this journey than than maybe you realize. But my wife mm. passed away, you know, mm. four years ago, and you you right. showed up at the hospital with me, and we prayed that God would uh, raise her off that bed, mm. and um, it, it it didn't happen. But we prayed, you mm. and I prayed, and Leonard mm. Wells we prayed and we prayed, and, and God God took her into a better place, the best place to be, mm. and um and and I'm good with that, but. I realized that my kids needed a dad yeah. and I had one at home and I had three in college, uh, three in college or one just graduated. I mean, oh, wow. Different. And so I had one at home and three going and they're, oh, they're all two years apart. So my dad died when he was 58 years old and, mm. and I'm 62 right now. So at that time, when I started this journey, I started it in January of, 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 uh, 2018. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I started that journey. A friend of mine had uh, talked to me about this program, and and uh, long story short, by uh, May of that same year, I had lost seventy pounds. Wow! Wow! And I've I have um, I've maintained that weight. Kept it off, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've kept it off, and so um, that's my health journey. And with that, I got some like non-scale victories. I have more energy than mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. used to have. I used to drive back from Moston, Wisconsin, which is about a half an hour away. And I'd have to pull over halfway and just sleep for 15 minutes before I got home. Mm-hmm. That's not the case anymore. I have more energy mm-hmm. than I can understand, you know, I, I, at 62 than I can understand. And um, <laughs> not only that is my, my, um, I have confidence. Mm-hmm. That, you know, I, I, th- some of this might sound a little vain, but it's not. I believe God's asked us to be stewards of our, of our life. Mm-hmm. And so, yes part of that is our health. Yeah. And if I can be healthy and maybe cut off some diseases before they even happen, I think I'm better off in the long run. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if I can, if I can be healthy and, um, and, and we're, you know, we all have health in our mind these days. Um, so th- those are some, non- <clears throat> I also had a, a thyroid issue that is no longer, ex- I don't have a thyroid issue anymore. Well, um, my, Great. um, my sugar levels are, are solid. My blood pressure is good. Um, right. And I have mm. energy and, I, and confidence. And, and I, I, I know I keep coming back in confidence, but I can stand <laughs> in front of the mirror and I go, wow, I don't have a one pack anymore. You know, I, uh, <laughs> um, I even potentially could have a six pack, which has nothing to do with beer for, or 12 pack. I could, I could actually have 62 year old abs and that's my next level that I want to go to. But mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, to be, to be, um, you know, to be strong in my, uh, in my, um, you know, later Mature years. Mature years. Sure. 
Yeah. I, you know, my legs would be strong, my arms would be strong, and I'd able to do what God's asked me to do. And one right. of my preacher friends said, you know, he grew up under his his uh, grandfather's uh, preaching, and and he told his his grandson, he says, you know, we're called to preach the gospel, but you, you got to be alive to do it. Yeah, that's true. And said so. Anyway, that's <clears throat> that's my my journey, and that's what um, that's what has brought me to this place. So it's four years later and I'm still, uh, doing, doing what I'm doing and I'm helping others. Yeah. If you can, if you can eat, um, if you can eat, you can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, (laughs) I don't have any problem eating. That's for sure. Right. Right. Um, Right. But, uh, so how, how did you go about going from, man, I need to be around for my kids and for me, this looks like losing some weight. Um, you know, there's, and then there's saying all kinds of options there's, of how to lose weight. You mm-hmm. know, I think probably most people that have, have, are listening to our podcast, they would say, hey, I want to glorify Jesus with being around as long as I can be so that I can serve him effectively with, right. with the health that he's given me. Mm-hmm. And I look in the mirror and it's not looking great. Uh, and I think, you know, this time of year, uh, being around the holidays, a lot of people are thinking, wow, it, and, and it's getting worse rapidly. It's so easy yeah. to go backwards. The program that I'm in, we deal with six rocks and that has to do with our weight. It has to do with our sleep because it's a Mm -hmm. holistic approach to health. It's not just, I get my weight off. Do I sleep well? Mm. Talk about my hydration. What do I drink? Do I drink carbonated sugar filled donuts in a glass or do you know, um, (laughs) what do I, what do I do? What I, so it's, it's in, in our motion, what type of movement do I do through throughout the day? Also fulfillment. Do I, am I fulfilled in my life? Mm -hmm. And, and, um, and all those things have to do. And plus then there's the whole weight management, but, Mm -hmm. um, a lot of diets don't, it helps you lose it, but it doesn't, does not show you how to maintain it. Right. And I believe that one of them, what I've come to understand is my mind is as important as my body. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah, we were going to talk about that too, like some of the mindsets that have to change. What were some things maybe that you learned along the way or that you've been exposed yeah. to? Yeah, it you, seems it, like, a, like a health change starts with a mindset change. It is. And, and, and so um, what basically I do is I eat six times a day. Mm-hmm. Every two and a half to three hours, I eat some. I eat nutrition. It's so it's weight loss through nutrition. So our tendency in America is just to grab whatever's there, and we li- we live on pre high carbonated, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, fast food lifestyle. And, but I eat every two and a half to three hours every day. Um, some of those are smaller stacks. Some of those are 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 some health um, foods that I. I purchased mm-hmm. and, um, and I, and then I eat one really good lean, what we call lean and green meal, which is five to seven ounces of protein and, and, and some low glycemic vegetables. And, um, very satisfied with all that. And, and, and I do that every day of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, every day I do that. And it, and that is your, that's how I got there. So how did I get there? I, I reduce calories. I increase my nutrition. And I try to get my te- metabolism easy, uh, even, so we don't have these spikes and mm. drops. And mm. you just keep going until you hit the your desired weight, and you go into maintenance. So, uh, yeah. it's if you can eat, you can do it. So, um, yeah. it, and it, it, it and it's the mind. It, it it's 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 the mind. Yeah. Because that refrigerator, I I got to be honest, my evenings are the the toughest. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think when I'm, I would say that's probably true for me too, because when I'm busy, I'm busy during the day. Um, and occupied. it's mm-hmm. my mind is occupied. It's sort of when I go into letdown mode in the evening. Um, you that want some comfort it, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it would be, you know, uh, you know, a bowl of ice cream would taste really good right now. Or <laughs> right, right. And, it, and it does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, 
So, you know, I think a lot of people probably have experienced some failure, Mm -hmm. you know, that they had some false starts that, you know, I tried this and it didn't work or I tried that and it didn't work. There's a lot of different fad diets out there. Um, How did you find the motivation to, um, you know, be consistent, to not just start, but to go forward? What would you say to people that have experienced, you know, Pastor Clark, I'm happy for you, but it just hasn't worked for me? That is a great question. And I think it's the driving question of it all, because you have to really dial down and get down to the bottom of why I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Because if it's just about losing some weight, here's what I've done in the past. I've lost the weight. And as soon as I got to my goal, I went out and had steak and potatoes and uh, fried onions and mushrooms uh, to celebrate the Mm -hmm. weight that I just lost, Mm -hmm. you know? So, so you have to dial into what, what I called your why. Why do I want to do this? And my why was my kids need a dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My kids need a dad. And my, they need a dad all the rest of their life. And that kind of transition to I need to be healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what's my start. And it, it just went a little deeper. It says, no, I, I need to do this not just for them. I just, I need to do it for me. Mm-hmm. Because we know health costs are expensive. Mm-hmm. We just, we just know it yeah. is. So, so if I just encourage people to um, ask them themselves the question, why do I want to do this? And then I encourage them to ask it again, let's go a little deeper. No, really, why do you want to do this? And then mm-hmm. ask it one more time. No, <laughs> go all the way deep down. What is your motivation to choose the foods and to choose the schedule and to choose what you're going to do for food going forward in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I will tell you that when you get into these holiday situations and, and Mm. I'm, I mean, how many have cookie baking sprees and, Mm -hmm. and um, all that sort of stuff. Right, right, right. We're, you know, we're going to have a cookie marathon, you know, um, or, or somebody comes to work and they hand you this big steel canister of my goodness, what are they? I mean, what's in there? The old right. chocolate kisses with mint, mm-hmm. you know, and you're just going, well, I could eat that, but will that get me to the place where I want to be? No. Mm-hmm. Could I have one? Probably. But will one turn into five? You know, Probably. So, <laughs> so, so, so you, a, a person has to dig down deep into the why or the, the intrinsic value of why I'm doing this thing. And mm-hmm. it, if, it's, if it's not deep, it won't last. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's just like Jesus Christ. Well, you know, these, I think that this journey that I've been on is transferable to my spiritual walk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if we don't dig deep down why I do what we do, then we're going to go off on tangents when we follow the Lord too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus talked about, you know, just hearing his word and not, not doing it is like, Dig, digging uh, or building a house with no foundation, yeah. but exactly if you if exactly. you dig down and and decide, okay, I'm going to obey him because you know you're the Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know if it's founded on, you know, okay, you're the Lord and you are my rock, you're my foundation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that uh, that lasts, mm-hmm. but if, if it's just about making you feel good, there's going to come a time mm-hmm. when your Christian life, you know, yeah, it's it would be easier to. Uh, you know, uh, cookie, cookie and pizza and cake out right. on the Christian life, right? right? Mm-hmm. This doesn't, mm-hmm. this right. isn't sweet and savory anymore. Yeah, yeah. Right. So some, you know, I mean, there's two, like, you have to ask the why, but the why, what is your why matters. Yeah. You know, the, the, yeah. the, the, some of them have a greater value and importance than others, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and if you dig deep and your why is still shallow, then, right. you know, maybe you need to kind of reevaluate and, and get to a better place. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And I think at one level, to be honest with you, there was a time in my Christian life where um, I was so spiritual that I didn't value my health uh, in kind oh. of in the similar way that you did. Mm-hmm. Uh, because you're like, hey, you know, we, why, why would we want to stick around here any longer than we had to? Um, let's just, you know, as soon as God can take me out, I'm ready to go. And there are still people that think that way. And and for me, I think the big switch that came for me was realizing um, 
that eternal life doesn't start after you die, but that you actually have access to Christ now, mm-hmm. and that we that our only opportunity to, um, I guess, it's this life and serving Him mm-hmm. now that yeah. prepare uh, a better eternity mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. for us and for exactly. other people. Uh, it's not just about us anymore. Right, it's right. about uh, why are we here? Mm-hmm. You know, Jesus has a why for us being mm-hmm. here. Yeah. So yes. maybe sometimes tapping into Jesus's why mm-hmm. uh, for you and for your existence and His purpose can you know if you can't find you know maybe you don't have kids right um, you're like i don't need to stay around for maybe them. you're single <laughs> you know right. or whatever mm-hmm. and life has been hard you know i think there's there's a point of saying hey god has a purpose for mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. uh god has a reason for you to be here and why not be here healthy and full of energy and full of vigor instead mm-hmm. of just barely trudging, trudging along yeah. you know um with one foot in the grave mm-hmm. And, and I and I think you know I I I don't want to I'm not judging anybody because I've right. had my own struggles. Sure. I, I just think that sometimes that in Christianity, um, you know, overeating is a free pass. You know, yeah. we, we, we don't just, view it that same way we do it. <laughs> other right. Right. I mean, we we zero in on these these things that we call sin, and mm-hmm. and we really get after people on it. And then we go to the buffet mm-hmm. and we just pile up and, and I'm not judging. I've been there. Yeah. I'm just saying that, that, um, God wants us to be healthy. You know, this is a sure. temple of the Holy spirit and, mm-hmm. and our choices matter. Yes. And, um, and it brings glory to God. And it's just as, uh, um, cost effective to eat healthy than it is not to. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It just is. Yeah. Um, you eat healthy, you stay healthy. You don't have as many right, health problems right. that yeah. you have right, to go fix. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So it's it. You know, it we can begin to look at it as preventative. Yes. Or you know, so I, one day I might need a miracle that has nothing to do with my choices. I made good choices, and I might need a miracle. Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to. I come to understand. I, do I want to test God? Do I want right. to test God in this? You right. know. So um, you know, those are some things. So th- that's mm-hmm. the why is a huge thing. Mm-hmm. The why. Yeah. yeah. It used to be your wife was encouraging you to be health minded um and you were resisting that to some degree um and you probably still around you recognize for for one reason or another people tend to resist doing what it takes to be healthy uh how do you, what's behind that? And, and how, you know, what do you, what are some, what's, mm, what's going mm. on there and what, uh, what do you, how do you address that? Yeah, that's a good question. I, you know, let's just be honest. Changes is, is, is not easy. Mm. Um, I, I know it's probably the most normal part of our life because everything changes, but to choose to change is not an easy task. Right. Mm. If it was easy, then we would already be changed and we probably mm. wouldn't have this conversation, but, uh, but, <laughs> change is not an easy thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know, when Jesus says to take up your cross and follow me, that's, that's, mm-hmm. that's a deal, you know, mm-hmm. um, that's a deal when, when, so these choices have changed. So I kind of understand that, that, um, to change the choice and not to change is a choice. Mm-hmm. So, so my mind had to change the way I, I looked at things. So we talk about living above the line we, we we talk about when I face something. What is the what is the thing that God is doing in that? Versus I'm going to become creative. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to find God's solution to it. Versus I'm a victim. Mm-hmm. I have to I have to give in to this. Mm-hmm. I have to blame other people for this. Mm-hmm. Or I could be well. What is my responsibility? Mm-hmm. What creative thing can I do in order to go fo- keep going forward? what can it be that I can encourage others to go forward to? So Mm -hmm. that is a mindset. That is a a belief system that I believe is scriptural and biblical that when we hit the, when we hit that wall, we hit that resistance or we hit what, whatever it is, God's in that thing. Mm. He is in the middle of that storm with us. And he's the one that calms the storm. He's the one that encourages us Mm -hmm. to believe in him, to walk through it in obedience and to get through to the other side. Yeah. So 
I've had to learn how to think differently. I've mm -hmm. had to learn to say that this food is not food, it's nutrition, is this nutritional? Mm -hmm. I've had to uh, begin to create new habits of health. So mm -hmm. um, I, I, when I go shopping, I, I, I spend my health at the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I buy at the store, I want to be able to eat at my home. So if I mm -hmm. go over to the freezer department and get you know six quarts of ice cream, and I'm at that time, Andy, at the middle of the night where I'm going, I'm bored to death. Well, if I don't have ice cream in the house, I can't, <laughs> I can't crack it open. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to uh, spend my health at the store mm -hmm. and bring into right. my house what I believe will be keep me healthy and well. Mm -hmm. um, right. So, so you're uh, making different, you're, you're not just trying to eat better, you're, you're shopping better. I'm shopping better. When I go out and eat, I, I have a, I look at what I can eat. I mean, I don't, I still have fun You know, it's not food prison. So, <laughs> you know, I still go out and eat and I just choose what's, what's good for me mm -hmm. and uh, what will keep me in my, uh, in, in a, in a healthy way and um, still enjoy the evening. So, mm. um, so I'm making choices at home and I'm making choices, uh, when I'm with people and I'm making choices, uh, outside of my home. And, um, and so I think that one of the things that have helped me is that I'm not a victim. Mm -hmm. I'm just not. And, um, sometimes I think I am right. I mean, do you feel like some, up? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Um, do you feel like um, there's victim mindsets that come into play when it comes to health? I, I think I, I think I think there is. Mm -hmm. I think that. I mean, um, I just talk about my own life. When things got mm -hmm. tough, I would mm -hmm. I would eat. Mm. Yeah. My wife would tell me, you know, when I started this journey, I weighed 232 pounds, mm. and I weigh 170 now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she would tell me, Clark, you're eating your stress. I said, I'm not eating my stress. She goes, yes, you are. Well, then when I preached her funeral, I looked at the picture. And I go, oh, my gosh. Mm, <laughs> Look, I, was the, I, uh... I, I had to, the day of her funeral, I had to, I had to buy a triple X shirt. Mm. And mm. I was in 36 pants. And when I graduated from high school, I wore 28 pants. You know, I'm, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. I think that I think that food is challenging because we all have to eat, right? Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, it's available. So, um, I think that that I've had to to learn how to look at things differently and to realize that um, I think it's easy to be, you know, there's victims that we we, we can become victims in several areas of our life. And mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. thing is, is that. God, God is a creator and he made us to be create, creative. So walk us through, you know, there's, there's mindset shifts, then there's right. also practical shifts. Um, and we've focused some on the diet and nutrition, but, you know, maybe give us some ideas of, you know, practically once you sort of discover your why okay and you're you're motivated i want to become more healthy um then it sounds to me like one of the mindset shifts was uh i'm i'm asking different questions about the food i put in my mouth i'm asking different questions about the food i bring into my house um, but on a practical level, there's also just maybe some practical things that, sure. that we do differently. Um, what are you, you know, what are some, some low hanging fruit or some practical things yeah. that you, we need to do differently to be yeah, healthier? So, um, I, 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 I removed uh, my plates that were uh, 10 to 12 inches in diameter down to eight inch plates. Mm. And then I take my plate and, and we, I split it into thirds and the, and the top half of that plate, if, I, if we're mm -hmm. doing a visual, the top half of that plate is, is high nutritionally, um, low glycemic vegetables, green leafy vegetables with, um, for instance, carrots. I don't know if people know this, but carrots are very, very sugary mm -hmm. and a glycemic level of a carrot, even though carrots, you know, healthy, healthy, healthy. Um, mm -hmm. A raw carrot has a 45 
the glycemic level. And once they're cooked, it jumps it up to a 90. Oh, wow. wow. Cooked carrots jump to a 90. So, so mm -hmm. you, you, and it doesn't mean I don't eat carrots, but while I'm, I go into a, when I started my journey, I went into a mild ketosis or a mild ketosis burn, a mild healthy burn. Mm -hmm. And so I was in that, well, I was in that burn where I lived off my stored energy or mm -hmm. right. I say fat yes. uh, until <laughs> I got to, energy. <laughs> <laughs> until I got to my, 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 my desired level. And then I started putting things back in, but back to the practical, I bought, I bought eight inch plates and the top half is in, in a meal. The top half is, is three cups of, of very leafy, nutritionally rich vegetables and uh, high green. Um, and, and you learn how to do that. Then, so yeah, all I'm thinking of is spinach. is like yeah all I'm thinking of is like kale and spinach and lettuce is there kale more? spinach lettuce you can also have cooked vegetables which you can have which reduces that down to about a um, you know a cup and a half of, of of green beans a cup and a half of asparagus um, zucchini uh, there's all kinds of mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. there's all kinds of, of of very healthy low glycemic vegetables that you can do. So you okay. can do a combination. You can do cucumbers and, and that sort of thing. And and just make yourself a great a great salad. And then yeah. that that help and, and oh, so okay, yeah, that's good. And then what's the bottom half of the plate? The bottom half that's where you put uh, the ice on the cream. Left hand right? side on my left hand <laughs> side I've got five to seven ounces of of of, uh, of protein, which you know if it's if it's beef, it's like five. If it's chicken or turkey, it's it's six lean lean stuff and then if it's a, a leaner type of fish you can have like i can eat a pile of, of shrimp seven ounces of shrimp is a pile of non-breaded shrimp <laughs> and then on and then on the on the right hand side i'm going to have a small uh, piece of healthy bread or a fruit okay and 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 that is and that's just practical and um that's my evening meal so reduce the sizes and um and, uh, and, and, and then you eat every two and a half to three hours. That is also a very um, important thing to do. Yeah, because if you and did so that, that eight-inch plate and you only did it three times a day, you'd probably be hungry, <laughs> feeling yeah, hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and if, but the amazing thing is if you eat every two and a half to three hours mm -hmm. and it's nutritionally sound food, um, your body will tell you in about three hours you're saying, hmm, got to eat. And, and so you eat another nutritionally healthy uh, little meal, smaller meal. Mm -hmm. a little something smaller and then um at the end of the day that's where i do mine and i have the bigger meal so okay mm -hmm. um uh, give us an example that. of like a little small meal that you do yeah yeah so for in the morning you could have a you could have a um an, an egg or an egg white um mm -hmm. and um and put some spinach in there and that could be that's that's a nice breakfast nice you can okay. have a, and put a you know half of the grapefruit in there right um you could have a, a healthier uh, um, so, so those are some, some type of things through the day. You can have some, um, zucchini or some, uh, with, with some, uh, avocado. Um, but mm -hmm. I have a, if somebody wants to know, I have all kind. I have a whole like three week of, of small meals. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. three yes. weeks every day. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, for, for breakfast, have this three hours later, have that, you know, I, and I can help Kinda people help do lay that. It out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have it memorized. But I can mm -hmm. I can help people lay it out. Right. It's it's three weeks, and you go through that three weeks, and and then you just start over, and you won't get bored with it. Sure. Um, you don't want to be bored with food. No. You, know, mm -hmm. you don't want to be bored. You want to you want to be satisfied. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You actually so, you actually coach people, don't you? No. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. And what I found, and I think it's the same as discipleship. I found that if we found it, if you, eighty five percent of the people who who lose the weight can help people up lose it 85 percent of them keep it off yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i and i think uh, Aunt, andy and tina that i think that has to do with discipleship you know mm -hmm. if i can disciple someone spiritually mm -hmm. it's more likely that i'm going to grow spiritually yeah mm -hmm. absolutely you, you know when you when you know you're kind of not when you're responsible for teaching and training mm -hmm. somebody else you are sure that you're spending time alone with the mm -hmm. lord and that you're following him and obeying him yeah, and, and in reminding other people of the truths that change your life is a great way to keep those truths <laughs> fresh yeah. for you. Yes, yes, a absolutely. And and I and and I'm just going to say, you know, I've messed up before. I've gained ten pounds before, <clears throat> but here's what I know: I know how to get it off. 
Sure. Right? Yeah. No, All I good. have to do is go. I know it works. I know it works well. I know it's not a, um, I know it's not a huge chore. I just, I know mm-hmm. how to, I know how to get it off. Yeah. I know mm-hmm. how to uh, go back to the habits that I maybe took a detour. You know how, you know what those mm-hmm. are like, you know, you're right. going down highway at 90, 94 and oh, we're going off and having seven mm-hmm. pieces of pie, you know, and then uh, we've got to get back on. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. um, it, it, it's just life is life. Life. We want to live our life. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, so a, a cheat day is, you know, around the holidays is not necessarily the end of the world. It's it's more establish, reestablishing those habits of day in, day out, discipline and focus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and, I, and I, 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 you know, I try not to, and I know you use the word cheat day and that's fine. I try not to say it's a cheat day. I just, mm. because that means that my habits aren't habits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. So, so, uh. I'm trying to say that I I took a piece, I chose to take a piece of food that um, I normally wouldn't take, and it's not going to. Uh, one person said, you know, a piece of pie is not going to kill you, and that one salad's not going to make you healthy. Right. That's so, true. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's 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 the long process mm-hmm. of making new habits that bring me the results I want in my health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it it's not only with what I put in my mouth, but it's what I put in my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's how I walk it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. the same thing with discipleship and transformation. You know, you tell, you know, that you can't get away from the basics of spending time with God in the word and in prayer. And, mm-hmm. um, but if somebody just comes to you and says, well, I did read the Bible and I prayed yesterday and, you know, I, I, it didn't seem to help, right. you know, it, it's kind of that lifelong journey of, no, this is about a lifelong uh, intake of the word and a lifelong uh to developing of fellowship and communion with God. Mm-hmm. So outside of the the food realm, you mentioned some other things yeah. of of sleeping and sleeping hydration and, and, hydration, and yeah. uh, some others. What you know, kind of round out the picture a little bit for us yeah. there. So so um I um hydration is a huge thing. So when I was in uh when I started my journey, uh, I drank every day half my body weight in ounces of water. So I drank 120 ounces of water every day. Wow. Um, and uh, yes, there was a lot of trips to the bathroom. <laughs> um, but what, what was that? What was that? What was that? That was washing out the fat. Mm. It was, you know, it, it was cleansing your body. Uh, and, and so I still drink. I, I, I don't drink soda. I don't drink diet soda. I don't. I, I just don't. Li- I just like water. And right. I, I drink. I, I drink herbal teas. Mm-hmm. Um, and that sort of thing. But, um, so, so yeah, so hydration's huge and then sleep. Uh, so I think that we can, in America anyway, we can get into this, um, electronic, uh, you know, to, to find a way that we can get away from the electronics, mm-hmm. you know, whether it be Facebook, whether it be television, mm-hmm. uh, you know, or have, new, right. but just to, to be, to have some, some downtime mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that our mind and isn't racing all the time, but mm-hmm. we, I can just rest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so sleep is a good things happen when I sleep well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My body does body, great well, things when I have eight hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I posted no, I, today, I posted today uh, that um, I used to, I used to put myself in uh, self-induced food comas so that I could just sleep, you know, just pass out and sleep. And um, Mm. so, but, but sleep is a very, very important thing. So that's another one. So, so if we can find a way, you know, instead of maybe instead of, of doing electronics, maybe I can read a book. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can read my Bible before I go to bed. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, I I would say that when I when I have the biggest challenge sleeping, I have uh, I find myself having the biggest challenge of of uh, overeating. Yeah, of and that I area also mm-hmm. um, am spending too much time in front, in front of, of the screen. computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and those those all sort of get. Uh, going the wrong direction, mm-hmm. but it seems like when I can sleep better, um, I'm also able to eat better. I don't put on the weight as much, mm-hmm. and then I also 
um, am spending a balanced amount of time getting away from the computer. And part of my life is I do spend a lot of screen time um, just because of that. But I think everybody's lives these days Has, involves yeah, sitting in front much. of screens. Mm -hmm. I mean, with from work any to, yeah. type, a lot of jobs are technical, mm -hmm. um, then our social interaction on the phone and things like that. So Yeah, and I, I think, Andy and Tina, I think that COVID increased that. I don't yes. think, you know, because now people are Zooming. Right. Now people, you know, they have to do work at home mm -hmm. where they maybe have to spend more time on the computer than they may have with if they weren't at work. Mm -hmm. You know, kids, you know, if they're not being able to go to school, then they, mm -hmm. are, you know, so, <laughs> so then we have to find a way where I can rest, give my eyes a break, my mind, something that's more interactive, that's a little more challenging possibly mm -hmm. that, um, you know, so I think that that is a challenge for when we rest. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the next kind of step that has to do with rest is, is movement. You know, mm. am I getting my walking in? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't extra increase my exercise when I lost the 70 pounds. I didn't do anything different exercise wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have now increased my my steps. I've increased mm -hmm. my movement. I well now that so, your energy's back, it's well. Yeah, right. yeah. I can actually uh, move. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, uh, and I can tie motion. my shoes. Yeah, <laughs> right. I can tie my shoes and breathe yeah. and bend over all at the same time. So um, <laughs> it, it's really a talent that I've missed for years. But anyway, yeah. um, I can do that all at the same time now. But but I, I think movement is important mm -hmm. um, to to schedule. Let, let's say. Let's say at the end of your day or during your day, you get bored. Go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I, that's great. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, um, uh, you know, their, their evening times involve, I eat my meal and then I sit in front of the TV and veg for three hours. Um, you know, that three hours is a real great candidate for working in a walk or a workout or something yeah. else. Or, or even let's let's say that, you know, I know we have single people and we have married people, but let's say let's say you're a married couple. Let's say, honey, let's you want to go on a walk? And usually my wife would say that, and I was not interested. Mm. But what a what a relationship building time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you could have. You can grab your wife's hand. You can grab your husband's hand, and you can walk down the street, and you can dream together again. Mm -hmm. and you can make and move and you can uh when you get done walking a half an hour 45 minutes you get back to, well that felt maybe i can sleep mm -hmm. <laughs> but that mm -hmm. felt pretty good mm -hmm. and, and you know then then you're accountable to yourself and what this program does is that you're 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 trying to keep the word that you've given to yourself mm. it's like self-accountability and so find some movement find a small you know, if you can't do a push-up, maybe do a push-up off the wall. Put mm -hmm. yourself against the wall. See if you can do five of those. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can only do one. Well, do one for two weeks. Then do three mm -hmm. wall push-ups mm -hmm. the next two weeks. But movement is just a huge thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. It's really important to, to get some movement in your, in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes when you're first starting out, that's honestly a lot more realistic than yeah. carving out a lot of time to do workouts and yeah. going to the gym and that kind of thing. But just to kind of start yeah. small. I, I, you know, it was interesting. I, um, I just recently watched a, a video about um, habits. And one of the things that, that uh, was said was that the important thing about um, successful habits is focus on in the ease of the start. The hardest thing is, you know, like for example, and he gave the example that one lady um, uh, decided that dancing was going to be her healthy activity, and she <laughs> lived in the city. Um, and she wanted to dance for a while before she went into work. And so she, but for her, she focused on get out of bed, go hail the taxi. The, and oh. she said, because I knew that if I could just get out of bed and hail the taxi, if I, if I got, got if I taxi, got in the taxi, I was, I was going go. to do the workout. 
And, you know, it's kind of a similar thing for us is, mm -hmm. is make, uh, um, make things like going on your Facebook, make it harder on yourself. Stop. Yeah. Don't put it on your home screen, mm -hmm. on your smartphones. Sure. Uh, turn yeah, the notifications <laughs> off so that you don't get the notifications that you choose when you're going to check and see what comes in. Um, instead mm -hmm. of constantly being reminded something else has come in. Um, and there's probably impl uh, implications in that. If you want to stay hydrated, go get yourself a nice big water bottle that you uh, enjoy carrying around day. all day long. Uh, exactly. Different things like that. Our um, girls put stickers on there, so they yeah. decorate and, us, and, so and that, that feeds like back it. to your. You don't just eat better. For you, the key to eating better is shopping better. Right. Uh, exact. Exactly. Whoops! I lost my ear thing here. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, I shot better, and 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 I think that's a great a great point, uh, Andy and Tina, because I think that if we can if we can plan our day, you know. If we can, if I can, the night before, set out my water, or you know, mm -hmm. this is my water ball bottle. This is what I'm going to eat tomorrow. So it, all those things help us to succeed. Mm -hmm. um, it helps us to to understand that tomorrow, if something comes up that I wasn't expecting, I still ha I can't I I can't say, well, I didn't have anything to eat, so I'm just going to grab this. All no, right. We mm -hmm. already have this all planned out. I already have this with us. We. We got this with me. I got my plan. This is my plan. No matter if Billy Bob calls me, no matter if, you know, the dog runs down the street, um, <laughs> no matter yeah. what mm -hmm. happens, I still have this plan. Now, plan is I'm going to eat this, you know, in three hours, you know, mm -hmm. so, I, you know, those are, those are important things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, I was so wondering about too, like um, the impact too of, um, being a part of a program like I imagine there were people that were coaching you and that you were asking advice of and that were helping you out kind of that done and that you said you're doing that for other people kind of what would you say about that like that sounds like it's a probably pretty, pretty important component in the I'm, in I'm the glad whole you brought that up loss. because there's there's really four components with this is that you get you know with this program is that you you, you get a coach Mm -hmm. uh, you get a community. So we're all, you know, get involved people. in a community mm -hmm. there that have health goals that are in different plight places and mm -hmm. have different challenges and have different um, maybe health challenges and victories. And, and thirdly, then you get a, a transformational a way to create new habits, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a way to create new habits. And then you get nutrition, nutritionally sound food. So all of that. So I think a health coach is huge because you know, if we didn't, if we could do it by ourselves, we'd probably be probably doing would it have. by mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's really awesome. You know, Pastor Clark, you mentioned earlier um, a three-week plan and that you also do this health coaching. If people want to contact you, um, can they send you an email to request that uh, three-week plan and then yeah. information about uh, your health co coaching program? Yes. Yes. Um, here it is. It's, it's L-E-A-D the number four, the number two, D-A-Y at yahoo.com. And that, that says lead for today at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can um, ask Pastor Clark if you're interested in, mm -hmm. in information about health coaching. He'll send that to you. If, if you're just interested in the meal plan, he'll send that to you. Sure. Um, and that sure. way you have uh, you can make these resources available. Sure. Yeah. If we're closing this down, mm -hmm. this this has impacted me positively in every area of my life. Mm. Mm. It's not just impacted my health. I'm, I love Jesus even more than I did before. Mm. I am more um, physically, emotionally, and financially sound than I ever have been. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, um, and, and it, does it all tilt on my health? No, but it was something that God was putting his finger on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a so, discipline there. That it is. It, it is. Yeah. It's that it discipline. Really yeah. Every, so. You know, gains in one area of your life will Bless. will will mm -hmm. actually um, uh, impact other, and so there's a lot of collateral blessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Whenever mm -hmm. you take a step forward for change in one area, that's good. Um, it'll bring blessing in a lot of different mm -hmm. other areas. 
I'll tell you what, um, after speaking to Pastor Clark, I have to say that I'm more motivated to actually take a, a step back and look at um, my why for health. <laughs> yeah. um, and to, I think, honestly, if there's an area where I need to shore up better, it's not just individual habits. I know how to lose weight. <laughs> Um, but I do find that I found it difficult to consistently keep it off mm -hmm. um, because I get, um, you know, my motivation starts to right. slip. But once. if your why is firm, yeah, you know, that can help. And like, you being firm in that decision and sticking, sticking with it. Yeah, like it kind of needs a transition from why do I need to lose weight to why should I continue to make mm, good, healthy decisions, choices, yeah. right? And I liked a lot of what he said, too. Like, I'm looking at food not as food anymore, but as nutrition. Mm, like, yeah. You know, that's really a good, a healthy way to, to look at it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, and he had a lot of good practical things in there, um, things what? that have worked for him. Mm -hmm. I just had the thought, I wonder what it would be like if we looked at that, of everything that we put into our minds and bodies, mm -hmm. you know, not just food, but the things that we read, the things that we see, the things that we say, you yeah. know, if we'd looked at it not as food, but as nutrition for our spirit. Well, it's definitely, <laughs> you know, that was the main thought that God had, I believe, in teaching Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, you're a person of God and you don't just eat, eat anything. Just anything, right. And uh, uh, ultimately those are types and shadows of right. Christ. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you belong to Jesus Christ, you don't just take anything into you you mm -hmm. you look for okay is this christ or is this not right. is this going to be discerning nourish mm -hmm. the life of christ in me or is this going to be uh in conflict with the life right. of christ in me mm -hmm. um same thing goes goes for food but i liked yep. his his comment comment too it's not just about eating well mm -hmm. it's about shopping well right and, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes even in the Christian life, it um, starts further back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, some of the reason that people have a hard time having quiet times with the Lord every day. Cause they don't go to bed at night. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you get up in the morning? Or, you know, or, yeah, they, they can tell you time. all about sports center and what their mm -hmm. latest team is doing or what's going on in the social media, mm -hmm. uh, in the news, but they, they don't have any contact with the mm -hmm. Lord on a daily mm -hmm. basis. So, um, you know, brothers and sisters, it, it's good to keep things in balance and to mm -hmm. look at overall, how are we doing? Mm -hmm. uh, because everything is related to everything and everything is related to Jesus Christ. Right. That's right. for sure. Yeah. And he's worthy of our everything, excellence and 100%. everything. Yeah. Well, we hope this was encouraging to you as it was for us. Um, brothers and sisters, if you'd like additional resources from our ministry, you can find them at fullspeedimpact.com. Uh, you'll also find uh, uh, our information about our Full Speed Impact Academy. Um, additionally, uh, there's an opportunity if you'd like to support our ministry through a donate button. You'll find that there. Uh, there's just all kinds of good stuff at that mm -hmm. website, so we encourage you to check it out. We have uh, uh, our Facebook group, the Sons and Daughters Podcast mm -hmm. Group, uh, where we carry on those discussions uh, in between times. And it gives you an opportunity to, hey, interact with other people about mm -hmm. the same subject. Um, and if you have uh, other opportunities or people that you think we should uh, look into having on as guests or different topics you'd like for us to cover, let hey, just us let us know. know. Um, <laughs> it'd be great for us. Uh, we appreciate you and um, look forward to continuing to release a new podcast every Friday at noon. And uh, meanwhile, brothers and sisters, we encourage you to walk in the fullness of Jesus Christ and impact the world around you. Mm -hmm.